Over the past eight years, the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Brazil has emerged as one of the most successful championships in motorsport, and in terms of Porsche series, it's unrivaled. The Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Brazil started in 2005 with 14 cars on the grid, and now we have 47 cars on the grid, divided into two categories. It's the biggest grid of all the championships throughout the world. Amateur driver Silvio de Barros was the winner of the challenge class last season and has made the step up to cup for 2013. I started in the challenge category in 2009. It's a category of drivers who are starting out with less experience and with Porsche cars that are older. So the cup category, which I've moved into this year, is more competitive with faster drivers and it is harder to get good results. The difference between the cars is basically, in terms of power, in the Cup they have 30 horsepower more. They also have wider tyres, more aerodynamic pressure, some improvements in terms of electronics, and here at Interlagos this makes them approximately two seconds faster than in the Challenge. Given the increased performance of the cup car and the more experienced field, Silvio has been granted a training session at Interlagos with pro driver Nono Figueiredo to fine tune his skills. We're talking about a driver who was champion in the challenge category last year, but even so, there are things to improve. In fact, all the drivers always have something they can improve. And it's no different for Silvio. No matter how much skill he has, how much natural talent, and he has a lot of natural talent, it's important for us to analyse and discover what we can do so he can be even faster and more competitive and even safer. So Nono gave me some tips about breaking points, about the lines at Interlagos, where I have the opportunity to improve. And I was able to go behind him today and see exactly what line he took. I could go beside him and see where he put the car it's been a real privilege. Aside from Sao Paulo, the racing takes drivers around Brazil from Rio to Puerto Alegre, but it's now also an international championship recognized by the FIA with races in Portugal, Spain and next year Argentina too. The importance of our Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge taking part in races outside of Brazil is to balance and improve the level of technology and the skill level of our drivers. That applies to our engineers as well. It's a way of going outside the country, updating ourselves and using this knowledge during the whole year. I have a dream. In Europe, Porsche is one of the support races for Formula One over three months. It's an old dream of mine that if I manage to improve my performance and manage to get the time, maybe three months holiday, I might be able to race in the Porsche Super Cup in Europe and get to support the Formula One Grand Prix. Rubbing shoulders with Formula One's elite may be for the future, but for now, Silvio is enjoying the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Brazil. For us, it's fantastic having the Porsche Cup so close to home. I live in Sao Paulo, and most of the races are here in Sao Paulo. But being able to travel with the Cup too is great. It's really cool. For me, this is a life experience. I've made new friends on the track in this category. It's already part of my daily life for my family and my wife, my son too. They love coming to see me race. So it's incredible how Porsche has organized this category here in Brazil.